Hello guys, welcome to Android Crunch. I'm Lokesh Kapoor, and in this video, we're going to see in action how we can create some nice navigations. So, for example, you can see this kind of navigation. It looks very, very elegant, and you can make it without having to use any add-on or any uh, third-party plugin. You can do it with just Elementor plugin installed on your website. So, without further ado, let's quickly see how we can create this kind of navigation. We will also see some more advanced navigation where you don't have to do extra efforts and you have everything, all the customizations in your widget settings. So first of all, I will just head over to my hair template so that I can show you how I have built this header on the website. So it's loading and yeah, it's loaded now. So you can see that I am having this nav menu default element or widget uh, and have set the main menu that is the menu in my WordPress website and then the layout is horizontal as you can see and it is aligned to the right of my container column container and then the pointer is background so its background color is this pointed color in my style this hover pointer color okay and then my animation is fade so it comes with fade animation the background pointer comes with fade animation you can change the animation there are a couple of great animations that you can use instead of the fade one and then you have this sub menu indicator which is just adjacent to the dynamic so wherever there are sub items it will show the drop down with the sub indicator and then you have this mobile drop down so when it just uh, aligns to a mobile drop down mobile view you can set it a tablet or mobile so for example if i change it to tablet it will instantly change to a mobile layout and you can then have this widget as full width or this default okay so this drop down items would come with full width container and then you can align them aside or center okay so this looks pretty good with a side and it was for mobile settings but we are not looking mobile view pretty much in this video so let's quickly get back to view for desktop and let me just quickly go to style because this is the major part we are going to talk about in this video so you can see this nice uh, drop down where you have uh, this uh, item hover when you click any of the item in the drop down you can see this background and it comes inside the container and with some padding and as well right so what you can do you can just change the text color so typography it is for the main menu so this these all settings are for the main menu this one okay so hover is pointer text color is black so when it hovers it comes to black from the green the screen and then you can set divider on and off then you have horizontal padding so this padding in background background different padding okay so you can change this padding as well right so it is a pie padding for your items so how much padding it will have horizontally okay and this is the spacer if i change uh this glow to probably fade i will be able to see much of padding stuff so you can see so there is very little space so if i increase it so not too much I increase so probably I will need to decrease this horizontal padding first so this spacer padding is no more can you see it now it is even more so that is the space between two different items and that is the horizontal left to right padding for your items okay for all the individual items fine so you can customize these settings based on how you want your drop down to look like or your items to look like in the main menu and then you have this border radius i have just three set you can change it to seven or maybe 25 so you have this kind of a animation but since i have this kind of a rounded shapes or rounded uh, layout or design that's why i'm been i'll stick to three or four so that my design looks quite elegant okay so it is just uh, the aesthetics of this design may probably you know be consistent throughout the, all my uh, design process then we have set all these drop down options and this again this is the default navigation menu widget 
of Elementor. I am not using any add-on since now. Okay, I will be using it later in this video, but for now I am using this nav menu and and then you have all these on uh, settings you can change the color default i am keeping with this and then you have this background i can say make it red so now my drop down is red so this is the top down background color and then you can change the parent typography as well but i will keep to default typography settings and then i have this border type i have set it to you can see all this border this black border this is a drop down container okay we are talking about here so the background color is white border is black and width of the border is 2 okay and we have border radius 8 of the drop down container and we can also give it box shadow if you want to so for example you can remove this and you can give it a this kind of uh, nice look so now it looks like this looks even elegant isn't it so it's all up to you how you want your drop down to be and then you have also this horizontal padding and this horizontal padding is for the items inside the drop down okay so this individual item so that horizontal padding was for these main menu items and this horizontal padding is for these items inside my drop down see these are the sub items for my uh, main term you can say okay and then you can set the vertical padding as well so the items will have top bottom uh, padding okay with vertical you can see it perfect so it is too much i guess okay even horizontal padding is very much i can make it 10 looks not bad but i will keep it to 18 probably okay looks pretty much uh, good one okay now we have this bar type i can keep it a solid so what it does since i'm not having any border any divider so for example uh, mm, 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 mm. there are some settings for divider yeah here it is so since i'm not using divider in my drop down as well so this setting will not have any yeah not any effect so let's leave that border thing for now and now we have distance so this distance is this distance so we can change the distance now it will have a lot more uh, margin from the top okay Mm, then we have some toggle button settings it is basically when you have the mobile layout so we don't uh, need to talk about mobile layout for now but yeah you can just change the color of the toggle change the size border width radius and just change the settings of the whole world it's just quite basic okay now you might have questions like how i have done this uh, background frame for my items inside the top down right so these are the items tokens uh, search and filter inside a drop down container so you can see that when i inspect it then you will see first okay so let's what make it block so that we can see it okay and now we can inspect it and see its container so here is the container so elemental name menu drop down is the container for this uh, b or a items a is the element html element so what i have done or i can do I can set in my custom CSS element and name and drop down A for the items and I can set the margin and border radius 5 so you can see this background see this border radius it is 5 pixels and margin I have given 10 pixels okay for example if I give it 0 pixels see what happens here it comes with this animation because on hover we have margin 10 pixels but without hover it is not having any margin for the items so i need to give it some margin now looks good and now it will not have this shaky or uh, unwanted animation when i hover it and, and when i hover it i will change the background color for my items to this one okay 
I have option I can change it from here as well and I can change it from here as well in the drop down hover background color okay so it is showing me this color for now so I can change it to dark green you can see it quite well okay so this looks quite interesting isn't it so this is how you can uh, do all these settings in your main navigation your navigation actually now uh, i'm going to show you the different thing that we can do so for example i will just head over to my website and and then, then i will just create a page probably and here is the testing page uh, I have this navigation okay so this is navigation menu by uh, by add-ons for Elementor this um, I can say nav okay or what I can say, I can say menu. Okay. So this menu navigation menu is from the plus add-ons for Elementor TP. Okay. So I like this plus add-ons for Elementor menu pretty much. And menu select the main menu. Okay. It gives you this animation. You don't have to do anything, and you have all these styling stuffs that you can change. It's it's now fade with a style when it was a slide okay and an extra option and mobile menu you have all these options to choose from then you have some all styling options there in the drop down so for some menu for example you have all these settings and there you can for example set the outer padding okay and you can set the border box border this like this you can change the radius for the box it looks like this or you can keep it to the default one okay and you can set the inner padding you can set some menu indicator style okay and you can normal color and icon color you can change it I don't have an icon otherwise I could show you and then you can change the hover color and hover icon color right so all of these options are there that you can customize to have a nice uh, navigation uh, where this drop down looks quite elegant and now i have this croco block and it also is very very amazing where you can create this kind of uh, drop down i will show you by adding this header template that i have on my page and you can see how Cool it is it is very easy to create navigation using the clock block and you can just select the menu that you want to show I have selected the main menu that I made for this purpose and then I can set a layout like widget in this uh, default inventor name menu widget then you can set the top drop down icon sub drop down icon show items description if you want to and all these uh, different settings and styling is the thing that we want to do so you have all these styling options this is for the top level items meaning these items and then you have these drop down items okay we are more concerned about these drop down items so that we can set the container width okay we can change it to more width but it will go outside our viewport okay so we can keep it to little bit or probably we will go with the default one okay and then you can set the background color for the drop down container like this so we can probably go with this nice green color and then you can set the border radius for your drop down container it is currently 5 okay and then you have this box shadow i have already set it you can see a little bit of drop shadow for the container and then you can have the gap before first level sub items and gap before second level sub items okay and then you have items style for a typography 
so that you can see this nice and uh, bold uh, items in the top tone okay and these are all for the items styling so you can see it is having some padding of eight okay and and this is the padding for this okay this container padding from items and this is padding for the items got it from here you can set how much it will have the padding in this white padding around cart you can see this is this padding and this is for the top down container and then we have this divider option like we had in this normal widget and all the other options so you can use either of these widgets you can use crocker block or you can use tp the plus add-ons for elemental i will leave a link in the description you can probably get some discount if you opt to buy from my link and i will get some commission definitely but yeah you will not have to pay any extra penny if you buy from my link and it will help me keeping you know making more videos more tutorials for you and yeah you can also opt to use the default widget and use this kind of nice animation and it is also quite satisfactory you don't have to use any widget any um, third party plugin but if you already have it or you want to go with this nice uh, other animations then you can definitely go with that as well so i hope you enjoyed this video and if you want more videos like this please subscribe to our channel and if you have any suggestions you can just go ahead and comment them down and yeah please subscribe to our channel and i also have a facebook group for elementary users i have this group for droid finch users and for elementary users i have elementary pro users this is the group url and i have some good members here as well so if you have any questions and any doubts about anything then you can ask in this uh, community and we will be pretty happy to help you out and uh, yeah if you are a new user please don't uh, go without subscribing and i will keep on you know bringing more and more uh, exciting content for you thank you for watching this video till the end and have a great day bye bye thank you so much